What's going on, everybody? This is part two of my XT TakeOver Dallas and WrestleMania 32 preview. We left off with the Intercon ladder match. I'm picking Kevin Owens to retain. But here's the six guys that are in the match because I couldn't think of it, okay? We have The Miz. We have Sami Zayn. We have Zack Ryder. We have Stardust. We have Sin Cara. And we have the champion Kevin Owens, okay? I got all six of them. I didn't look up... <laughs> The 5-on-5 five five Divas match, because I don't care that much, honestly. I just know that Natalia is finally going to get to wrestle, and she may win, which is awesome. And Paige does not deserve to be part of that. She deserves to be part of the Women's Championship match. But I can see why they did. It's Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks versus the champion Charlotte. Because it's awesome that all three of them are making their WrestleMania debuts! A year ago, I didn't think that was going to happen, but here we are. Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Charlotte. I think it would be awesome if Becky Lynch won the Divas Championship and turned it back into the Women's Championship. I think she's the underdog in this match. And, yeah, it would say a lot if she won. It would be awesome. Okay? Okay. My pick is Becky Lynch. Now... We really finished the last video starting to talk about the fact that AJ Styles is going to be at Wrestlemania. Which is even like coming out of my mouth. It's like, did I just say that? The phenomenal one, AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. I'm not sure if it's a rubber match or not. This is their second time on pay-per-view, but I think there was a bunch of Smackdowns and Raws in between. I'm not sure. But... AJ Styles wins at Wrestlemania. Amazing. What can you say? It's going to be an awesome match. There's no doubt. You can't have a bad match when you have Styles and Jericho. It's impossible. And Styles is going to pull something big out for his first Wrestlemania. Look out for that. Something big is going to happen. Spiral tap or something may happen. I don't know. But Styles wins. Kevin Owens wins the ladder match. I talked about pretty much the pre-show at the last match. A women's style match. Is there a match I'm going to miss? I hope. I hope there's no match I'm going to miss. Alright, let's go straight into the main events, really. Street fight. Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. This thing has been built up fantastically. I think Lesnar is too big. Too powerful, too amazing. I'm a Brock Lesnar fan. I'm an Ambrose fan too, but I think Lesnar wins. Plain and simple. <laughs> Ambrose is gonna give it is gonna fight like a dog. And it's gonna be a great fight. But I think Lesnar wins. Next up, Hell in a Cell. Who would have thought three months ago that we'd be talking about Shane McMahon versus the Undertaker, Hell in a Cell? For The Undertaker's career, or for a brand extension split thing with Shane owning Raw. Um, they can't tease us with a brand extension and not do it, can they? So, I think Shane is going to win. And it's going to be sad, obviously, that The Undertaker is going to lose and have to retire, but... He kind of should have retired a while ago. Okay. He can come back and look really good for one match a year. And he had the Lesnar series. But let's be honest. Lesnar kind of carried the series. But Undertaker's going to retire. Shane's going to win. There's going to be a brand extension. I think guys like John Cena, Randy Orton, Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Guys like that may help Shane McMahon win. And, yeah. Shane McMahon wins the Hell in a Cell match and we'll get a brand extension and an exciting period of Raw and WWE television after WrestleMania. We are on to the main event. Triple H versus Roman Reigns. In case anybody doesn't know, it was just made a no disqualification match. I think they're going to give the title to Reigns. I think a lot of people are going to be unhappy 
but I think they're going to give the title to Reigns. Um, they've just been building him up. No matter how much you boo or don't like the man, Triple H and Vince McMahon have made up their minds that Roman Reigns is the face, or going to be the face of the company. Seth Rollins might come out, <clears throat> excuse me, Seth Rollins might come out and help Roman Reigns. I've heard that he's making a lot of great progress from his knee injury, leg injury really. So he might come out and help Roman Reigns win the Seth a Triple H Seth Rollins match for SummerSlam, I believe. And who knows where Roman Reigns goes on. Oh, I just realized that I forgot the tag team title match, which may not be a title match. I'm not sure. They keep on going back and forth. League of Nations versus New Day. I think New Day is going to win, and I really don't like anybody in League of Nations, so that's why I think New Day is going to win. They're hot, just like American Alpha is hot. Two great tag teams, American Alpha and New Day, tag team champions. Please don't give it to League of Nations, because, you know, I mean, I, Sheamus has his moments, Wade Barrett, but I can't stand Rusev or Del Rio. So, I believe I got all the matches. WrestleMania 32, AT&T Stadium, Dallas, Texas. It's going to be massive. The huge 50 to 50 yard line screen above the ring. Hell in a Cell is going to be there. There's going to be street fights. There's going to be no disqualification matches. There's going to be ladder matches. It's going to be insane. You don't want to miss WrestleMania 32. You don't want to miss NXT TakeOver tonight. The Hall of Fame ceremony is going to have Sting maybe announce his retirement. I don't know. It's going to be Stan Hansen. It's going to be... Uh, excuse me. Snoop Dogg is accepting now for celebrity. I, I'm okay. The Fabulous Freebirds. It's in Texas. So all these Texans and Southern guys are going to be accepting. Charles Wright. It's going to be an amazing weekend, guys. And it all kicks off tonight. If you don't have WWE Network, and it's a free month, apparently. That's why they keep drilling it in our heads that you're going to get it for free this month. So... You definitely should get WWE Network and check out this whole weekend of amazing, amazing sports, entertainment, professional wrestling. It's going down for real, as Flo Rider, I believe, would say. My name is Tough Pro Fan. This has been fun, guys. If you liked what you heard, give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about this weekend. Subscribe, I do lyric videos, and I do wrestling related stuff, and I do sports related stuff on my favorite teams, the White Sox, and the Raiders. And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching, remember like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you Monday with the results of this crazy crazy weekend in WWE. Bye.